hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be back thank you guys for tuning in it's greatly appreciated as always as you can see by the title we're back another episode of brio and cole and i'm super excited to be back as you guys can see brio is definitely further along in her pregnancy we are reaching our third trimester pretty pretty soon um i did put a poll up so we do know that brio is having a baby boy which means she will have to have more children because we need the next year which needs to be a girl so we are pregnant with the boy i did put a poll up and you guys have been voting so far um which name you like the best so please please vote because every vote counts um we also have been moved into our new house as you guys can see it's a different background a different scenery you guys we moved all the way from uh you know the state uh what you call it the city city world all the way to san from san machuna all the way to um what's the new the new world uh, i can't think of san sequoia so all the way in San Sequoia and we have been living life. We've been living here for about three months now and we I just wanted to bring baby boy in a nice loving environment. The park was getting too crowded. Um it was becoming the neighbors were just out of control. The landlord was kind of giving us you know a run for our money and we just wanted to move so we put our money together all our coins in a bucket and we decided to leave and we found the perfect home i can't wait to give you guys a great tour of it and yeah so in this episode um barbie has planned a beautiful baby shower for um Riel. um it's not a super big it's in their backyard um but is sentimental because there's something Barbie really wanted to do for her daughter, for her first grandchild, and Brielle had no input. She doesn't know how it looks, nothing. We just were told to wear brown. So um, Brielle and Cole have like a brown or a nude looking color. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. But let me go ahead and give you guys a quick house tour and we'll be right back. Do y'all see that view? Like, look, this is their new house. Um, it is super, super cute. It's a 30 by 20 lot. And I got it off the gallery. I just searched up um, moving ready homes. And this one I fell in love with. Like, I love the landscape. I just love it. It totally and all. And I just thought that this would be the perfect home. So let's go ahead and give you guys a quick tour. As you guys can see, look at Chloe. Chloe is still moving. Um, she did turn into a cat in the last episode. She is no longer a kitten. So she has been doing her thing. She has been enjoying her new scenery as well. I know she likes to scope out the neighborhood and things like that. So it's easy for her to get around. So let's go ahead and go inside. Um, this is the entrance. So you, I love, love, love the living room. As you guys can see, there's not a lot of pictures on the wall. Because I want them to take pictures. And, you know as far as like putting up pictures of this generation so all of Barbrio's pictures from the first gen is in like her inventory or in her attic or something in storage because we need wall space for new pictures and new memories so we do plan to take some maternity pictures probably in the next episode so we'll put those pictures up and just put pictures of her and Cole up around the house because it's a new gen, you know. So when you walk in, it may look a little tight here, but it's a lot going on right here. So right here we have a cute little entryway. We have um, Chloe's little cat thing. We also have the thermostat. We have some shoes, a vacuum cleaner, a little swift duster, like little key rack mail, you know, bags, things of that nature. And we also have a shoe rack. If you go right here, this little nook right here is the laundry room. It came just like this. I just, you know, left it like it is. I thought it was super, super cute. Um, I wanted to go with like a little wider couch in this area. So we just went with this. I love the colors. You know, with the new base game update, the pillow swatches came out with base colors. You know, you don't have to have the pattern swatch. So I like that. So I wanted to go with this. I kind of like the nude and white color look. And then, you know, simple in the living room. They're not really clutter type of people. They don't have too much clutter lying around. And I think that's okay. So we have the cute little TV, you know, family room. You know, got this um, fireplace right here. And I also want to put some pictures up here as well. So I left that space there. That's the kitchen right there, of course. And then we'll go upstairs in a second. Oh, before we go upstairs, this room right here is their office. This is Brio's and cold office this is where they come and get work done i gave them a bookshelf a nice little office space and also we got a cute picture of 
this cat in these books because y'all know she's a cat mom and you know Cole loves reading also got this really really cute picture of Brand. I think that I'm not sure who this is honestly I thought it was Brandy but I could be wrong but it's really really cute and we got it easy y'all when I tell y'all my girl Brielle has picked up a new niche she is into painting right now that is another source of income especially now that she's getting further along into her pregnancy she's going to be going on maternity leave pretty soon so she's really be getting into her painting bag and this is actually something that she um paint it you know it she didn't paint like the picture she just kind of like i mean she painted the picture but she didn't like you get what i'm saying but it looks good okay she we're gonna say she did that because she's getting better or maybe she didn't do it maybe she just had she brought it off of like plopsy or something but yeah she's into painting that's her easel and things like that um that's our office we're gonna go upstairs in a second but let's go ahead to the kitchen before we go to the kitchen I forgot we got little um, Chloe's toys right there. Let me go ahead and take you guys to this downstairs half bath. It's super cute. Actually, it has a shower in here too, which I really, really like for guests. And it's super cute. It came just like this. The bathrooms are exactly how they came. I just added a litter box in here. And let's go ahead to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. I had to redo the whole entire kitchen over because I didn't like the aesthetic of it. I didn't like the countertops and things like that. So I wanted pretty simple, cute Barbie. I feel like Brielle and Cole are pretty clean people. So they're not going to have too much clutter, but they will have stuff to get the job done. They do love lemonade in this house. So I saw these pictures on the gallery and I just had to place them. They have a bar right here and this is a map because um these are all the places that they plan to travel you know and things like that so they got that there a broom and dustpan we got some more cat food they love plants and things like that we have a grill out here and brielle's yoga mat i was about to say barbie and they have a super big backyard i think eventually they probably want to install get it a pool installed back here or something some put some play jungle jams back here because they are expanding their family but in the meantime it's pretty bare but i definitely think i want a pool back there this is where our beautiful couple is standing and then in here is um their dining room area it's pretty simple i don't have too much in here have the dining room table um we also have chloe's food bowl and we also have this beautiful fish tank which i actually need to restock some um I need to actually restock some paintings. I mean, not paintings, some fish in there, but I'll do that in a second. I'm not gonna stress it and do it right now, but yeah, we got some fish in there. We need to put some fish in there actually. So yeah, let me go ahead and reset this. What is going on here? Okay, thank you very much. Actually, let me go ahead and put some fish in here since we're here. We're gonna do, what should we do? Let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and Let's fully stock with fish. Let's do that. And it looks good. It looks really, really cute in here. So we're going to go ahead and go upstairs, the last part of the house. Um, only thing that is pretty much done is their room and partially baby boy's room. Like, it's not, like, completely done just yet, but we're getting it. We're making progress. So let's go ahead and go to this room first. This is their room, Brio and Cole's room. I love the colors. I love the aesthetic. It's super cute and cozy, and I just love it so, so much. Like, it's definitely well lived in. It's not cluttered. They're very clean people, and I just like it a lot. And y'all know Brielle was clean even when she was living with Barbie. So, you know, that's never going to change. I do want to show you guys a, at least one bathroom. That's an empty spare room. This is an empty spare room. This is an empty spare room. Well, no, this is the hallway. I'm tripping. Is this the bathroom? Okay. This is one of the bathrooms. There should be two bathrooms, though. Okay. The shower is separate. I thought there should have been two bathrooms up here, but I could have been wrong. Maybe it was just one. But that's the, how the bathroom looks up here. Let me go ahead and show you guys baby boy's room. It's not done. It's not complete. Um, we just have a little infant crib, a newborn crib, some little toys. And we have, we don't know what we're going to do with this room, but it's what we have in it so far. Um, I was kind of like playing around with different things. I like this area right here a lot, but as far as like the crib, the accent wall, we still have to figure that out. But in the meantime, we're ready for baby boy, you know, ready for him to come. It's a small room. It's the one of the smaller rooms, but I feel like with the 
baby or infant, you don't really need a big space because they can't do nothing but sleep in here, you know? So, this is his space. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you guys the bathroom we were using. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So, this is actually the master room, I think. But I went with this one because, I don't know, it just seemed a little more bigger. But I did put some clutter in just a little bit, not too much. Um, we just added a trash can in here, a blow dryer, toothbrush, toothpaste, and some little soaps and stuff. So this is the bathroom that they are currently using, okay, as you guys can probably see. But yeah, that is pretty much the house. I love it a lot. It's definitely came a long way. But we're going to go ahead. Right now, Cole is feeling on this baby bump. He's like, let me feel on this baby bump. She's like, babe, are you Shark. hungry? She's like, actually, I can go for something to eat. The baby shower doesn't start till one. So they're just talking it up. Um, Cole is feeling good. Actually, I'm going to have Cole actually come in here and fill this food bowl for me, please. And fill call Chloe to eat. And I do want to set a time for this. Set a scheduled time. Let's do every six hours is fine. I don't think, uh, I don't think Chloe eats that much. Um, she, Brielle's going ahead to chat with Cole. She's like, babe, I just love how much we are making this our own. She's like, I am a little nervous become a mom, but I'm excited about it. She's like, yeah, I'm excited for it. You definitely deserve it. You know, you're going to be an awesome mom. She like, thanks, babe. So we're going to go ahead and come in here and use the bathroom because we do have to pee. Because, you know, the baby is sitting on our bladder. She's a little tense. Look at Chloe making her little self comfortable. That's one thing I did not give her was a bed. But look at my girl. It never fails. You were tired, boo. She said, I was tired, tired, okay? Cole's going to check on some emails, get some stuff done for the business. Brielle's actually just finished using the bathroom. And she's about to make some lemonade. It's pretty early in the morning, but she is not iced tea lemonade we do not like iced tea let's mix some lemonade she said like, i want me some lemonade babe he said well go ahead i brought some from the store the other day so we're gonna go ahead and pour some lemonade we're super excited um only thing we did was order a cake because our mom asked us what kind of like what flavor cake we wanted and stuff so we did that part but that was about it. Cole, she's like, you come and grab me some lemonade. It's done if you want some. Sorry, babe. I'll be down. I'll get some. So, Barbrio has just been, you know, uh, working. She's been working part-time. So, she hasn't really been. And can we not paint this? Oh, she's too tense. Okay. Uh, I'm about to say, we should be able to paint. We're going to paint a confident painting. You can't clean it up, boo? Okay, I'll clean it up for you. Cole's working on some emails. She's going to hit her paint. Like I said, the baby shower doesn't start for another couple of hours. So they're going to be just chilling, doing things around the house. Like I cannot believe they're so close to the finish line. I can't believe they moved in together. They're practically married. I think because Brio is not into like attention being on her, I don't see her having a super huge big wedding. I do kind of see them eloping when the time comes. We'll see after they have the baby and how they feel. Um, we still are working on our business career. We're still working on our aspiration. We got about a thousand more to gain before we on the next part of that. We are on vacation because we were experiencing a burnt out, you guys. We're being a senior manager, being nearly eight months pregnant. It's a lot on somebody. So we decided to take a break. But soon we should. I think once we reach our third trimester, we should be going to... Um, I think having time off anyway, but we're experiencing a burnout, but we are doing great. We're doing pretty good at work. And we currently are on the level six of our business career. So we're almost four like steps away from, you know, maxing out our career, which is actually insane. My girl is feeling, I believe in me, she's feeling pregnant in trimester. She'll be in our third trimester in 14 hours from smooth sipping, all that good stuff. So the food is being catered for the shower and things like that. Can you not clean this up? I don't know why I said they cannot clean this up. But can you put all these juice away? Put them away. See, Cole can clean up. I don't know why Brielle couldn't. Maybe she just didn't want to. That could be it. So Cole's going to put all those away. And I'm going to have him actually come up here. I should have him go for like a little jog or something. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, Brielle is feeling good. She's like, oh, that painting is done. That's actually cute. Uh, Let's go ahead and sell that. I don't want to have to put that in baby boy room, actually. We're not selling this. This is actually really, really cute. 
This is actually cute. This one go right in here. So you want to go ahead and watch some TV. You can. You can sit back and watch a movie and relax. They had a pretty early breakfast. They ordered some. Uh, we're going to say they ordered some IHOP. So they ate all that. So they're not really hungry. So she's about to go ahead and watch some TV, which is super cute. Um, Cole is about to go for a jog after he finishes putting his lemonade away. So, but Cole has been super helpful. He's been, you know, like I said, Cole is in the business career as well. He's a regional manager. He's making a little, he's making less than Brielle, but he is doing what he got to do and he should be getting a promotion very soon so like i said they're not with each other for the money because they both bring to the table a good amount of money so that's not really the case but we're going to go for a nice little jog you know get burns stretch our muscles and things like that and then we're going to come back and shower and get ready for this baby shower like i said life and life and you know just a matter of months they are bringing a baby into the world which is super exciting um, I did, like I said, I put the poll up. My top name was definitely Levi. So I really hope Levi wins because I think that's just such a cute name. And if you guys were into Raven's Home, which is like a spinoff of that, so Raven, Chelsea's son name was Levi. And I just love that name so, so much. So I am rooting for Levi. I hope you guys vote Levi a thousand times over, you know. But yeah, so that should be interesting. But let's see, Dazed. He's having a mental fog, so he's starting to burn out as well. So, a run. Oh, what's it say? It's internet parental shame. The internet confirms all of your worst fears. You've been a terrible parent. No, you you're not even a parent yet. So Brielle is feeling good. She's actually getting a little hungry. So I'm not sure if we're coming here and do we want to make something to eat? Hmm. Want to make some waffles? These, I don't know, these damn waffle makers be, oh no, she got leftovers. Okay, perfect. These waffle makers be scaring me because I feel like the moment you use them, it just start acting food gazy. But we got leftovers. I forgot even when you move, like your food and stuff transfer over, which is pretty cool. Are they excellent quality? Or right, you should be able to clean that up. She got to use the bathroom again. We're about to come up here and get ourselves ready because we need to get ready for this baby shower. Y'all know Sam's time go extremely fast, so we're not playing no games. Take a shower, come up here and brush our teeth. And then maybe we'll come up here and take us a little nap before the shower. Cole is back. He's coming back to the house. Um, we're going to go ahead and come up here. He needs to shower as well, but he could actually probably shower downstairs. We're going to come in here and use the bathroom and take him a nice shower. I do love the fact that it's a shower down here. I think that is pretty freaking awesome. I'm going to brush our teeth. We're going to get some water, all those things. Brielle is feeling good. She's about to take her a nice little nap. And then when she wakes up, we're going to change into our outfit i did give her a nude outfit i'm about to say i thought i did all right then cole's gonna probably come up here and change his outfit um i gave them outfits a little more outfits before we started playing but then i added some more just for and i also got that maternity shoe outfits in there as well which i'm super excited about so we will be taking those in the next um episode actually let me see do we have any photos that we could put of them up now I don't know, but Cole is feeling super happy. Like I said, they're super ecstatic about this baby shower. It is at our parents' house, so we're super excited. I don't think I invited Cole's parents, not intentionally, but I can always invite them once we get there. I forgot to invite Cole's parents. I'm pretty sure they would want to be there. You know, like, leaving them out is kind of absurd. But we're going to go ahead and shower and get ourselves together. Brielle is about to take her little nap because y'all know she is eating for two. And that butter in that oven is like, Mama, you need to lay down and take you a snooze or two. So she's going to go do that. And then she's going to get up and brush her teeth and things like that. Um, and yeah, so like I said, they, I've been missing this series so much. I've been missing playing Sims, y'all. I've missed y'all so, so much. I haven't gone to the event just yet. You're like, babe, it's almost time to go. So I feel like when he goes in the room, he's probably going to wake her. And then they're going to both get dressed and things like that. Cole is feeling energized from that brush shower, that good workout, a clear mind. So he's feeling good. He doesn't have that burst out anymore, which is good. Okay, Brielle is up. Look at my girl, style it. Look at her. She looks so freaking beautiful, y'all. Like, look at her face. Like, why are you, why are you frowning like that? Why? 
She's like, I got back pain. I got everything. I got a headache. It's just so much going on. I just don't know how to take it. It is going to be okay. It is going to be okay. And she's hungry again and never, never fails. And she's going to get more French toast. But you know what? I'm not going to stop her because what a mama wants, she gets. Okay? So go ahead and eat your French toast. Um, don't you put that, uh, what you, will you just put that, whatever you just put down, that glass of water. Go ahead and clean this up. Okay. There go my girl. We do need to do some laundry. We're not going to get into it just yet. Girl, you had to slam that fridge that hard, but she's feeling tense um, from burning out. But we're gonna take the next. We're not gonna go back to work until she is delivers the baby. We want to say, cause she's pretty much, you know, full term, pretty much. Um, okay, Cole is good. He's like, baby, ready to go? It's like, yeah, I'm about ready. So we're about to go ahead and head to this baby shower, guys. I'm gonna see you guys once we get there. Okay guys, we made it to our mom's house and when I tell you our mama did her big one on our baby shower, let me just show you guys y'all like, look at this. This is so freaking cute. It is so cute. You can't even tell that it's in the backyard cause that's just how cute it is. I had to, I did have to remove a gate because being though we don't live here anymore, we weren't didn't have access to the house to this part of the house so I had to remove a gate to get everybody back here but this is so freaking cute uh, you got the gift table you got the big brown bear we can barely wait the his and her cheer look at the beautiful cake y'all the cake did it for me when I tell y'all the wedding that was the best thing they could have ever done with the wedding pack was give us some cakes because you can order joints instantly through the computer which I love we got the buffet tables we got assortment foods we got served all we got chocolate fountain fruit punch fountain we got the cute little teach tables with the balloon and bear centerpieces I just absolutely love it and I am in all so I'm gonna have Brielle actually call everybody to eat I don't know where her mom is at we got our sister over here she's over here go here our sister is no longer a toddler so we did add her to the household because we needed to add her to the family um I don't know where Cole mom is at we got people right here that need to come and eat so I think I'm gonna just start go ahead and just having people eat if they can if they can't it's okay our mom is right here look at Barbie y'all we miss Barbie so y'all oh my goodness uh, Let's go over here and just thank our mama for everything. Like, we wouldn't be who we are without her. Let's go ahead and just invite her to feel the baby. That would be a cute moment between the two. I do want to get some pictures before this baby shower is over. It's just so freaking cute. And I tell you guys, Barbie didn't want Brielle to pay for a thing. She had a party plan to come out and did the balloon reef. And I just absolutely love it, guys. And they just having so much fun. Everybody is here. Where's Kaden? Where's Kyra? She said, Mom, do you want to feel the baby? She said, I would love to. So let me feel my grandbaby. Too cute. I love this so much. Look at Cole sitting and eating. I don't know. I know Cole's dad is here. I haven't seen his mom just yet. But look at this. Uh, it's like, oh my goodness. She said, yeah, mom, he's kicking. She said, how's everybody doing? She said, this is so nice, mama. We got balloon birthday things over here. I'm going to have you sit over here. I'm going to have Cole probably sit here. You know, we got cake over here. It's just so cute. Everybody's giving us gifts. We are just so blessed. So highly flavored and so loved. And we can't barely wait for, we can barely wait for our new bundle of joy to arrive. Um, Cole, did you call your mama? Because I see your dad, but I don't see your mama. Let's go ahead and, where's she at? Okay. Oh, did he go our mama? Hey, ma. She came. Let's go ahead and call her over. Let's go ahead and call her over. Like, come on, mama, we over here. Oh, like, mama, we over what? here, mama, come on. So, come have you sit down. <laughs> sit so we can get take, get this cute picture. I want to get a picture of you guys to commemorate this moment. Can he not sit there? And, of course, Brielle got up, as always. I do want y'all to have fun, y'all. Look how many, look at all, oh, look at sweetie. Y'all remember sweetie? Oh, oh, rest in peace, Taffy. Is Taffy thanks still over there? 
I wish the beautiful couple sit down. That's Barbie, Brielle, you better sit down. You doing that stuff, your mom? I know you want to talk to your mom. And I know y'all need to do y'all girl talk and stuff. But I need y'all to sit down so I can get at least a cute picture of y'all at this baby shower with this cute backdrop. Please sit down. My girl is glowing. She is looking so beautiful. She's, I'm going to sit right here in this chair instead. Cole, if you don't go sit down. Is that Cairo? Or is that Kaden? Let's see. I think this is, Ka is this Kaden? This is Cairo. Look at our brother. Look at our daddy. Look at Ken. Ken's look the same. Heaven ain't. When they say black don't crock, they did not lie. Look at our daddy. All right, we got um uh, his mother. I don't know why his mother inside this house. I'm gonna need her to call him, call her out. But I need you to sit down for a second. Sit down. And of course, Brie gonna get up. Of course, you gonna get up from sitting where I told you to sit. Sit down. Sit down. I hate when Sans be doing they. He and he barely sat down. He's I'm gonna sit down for half a second, okay? This is actually a cute picture picture within itself. So this might be the thumbnail right here. Let's go ahead. And just like that, we are back. We got a few pictures. Um, I do want somebody to take a picture of them standing here. So I'm gonna have to add somebody to the household. Come on, whoever you are, take a cute picture of them. We got some pictures. I want to get an actual picture of them, you know, like an actual cute picture. This is so cute. I just love it so, so much. So I want to have you go ahead and uh, I'm probably, it's probably should have you teleport. Um, you might could just take it from here, teleport here maybe. What you think? Are right, you a little too far? So teleport back here. You're a little too close to the bride. Oh, this is a cute angle. Actually, can you teleport over here? Teleport over here. Thank you very much. All right, Barbie, give me your braille. Give me your cat. Give me your cat. Uh, what you call it? Your camera. We gotta do some dancing. We gotta eat some cake. We still got a lot of things on the agenda, but I just you don't even have a you don't even have a camera. You don't even have a freaking camera. You itself. Oh, this. Oh, it turned out to be a cute picture after all. We are done with the pictures, sir. You can please get out of our family because I don't know what you were doing. Let's come over here and let's go ahead and grab some food together. Let's see. We got some hot dogs or something. Let's go ahead and grab a serving together. And we can grab some cake together, get this party started. We're going to open some gifts and things like that. Grab some food, grab some cake. And then we can crack up here and dance together. That would be really cute. You got to call the cake from all the way over here. Hilda. This is really cute. Oh, this is cute. We can barely wait. Oh, this is really And say that. I can't be ungrateful. We got some really good shots. Um, I would like for y'all to sit and y'all. Okay. Why would you sit there, you roach? <laughs> Real. Why would you sit there with your cake? Um, we'll go ahead and, uh change your outfit because why would you sit there sans be sans be doing that thing okay why would you change your outfit and why would you sit there and she's not eating nothing. you don't want the ceviche don't worry about that just eat the cake eat the cake y'all open some gifts y'all done got some cake cole eating some cake you want to come over and talk to your dad cole let's come over and talk to your dad um interest go ahead and discuss food flavors with your dad um, yeah. Go talk to your dad. Okay, she changed back into her clothes. He like, hey, dad. He said, thanks for coming. He said, no problem. So, you know, I want Mrs. for the world or my future grandbaby. He said, well, I'm happy you decided to come and things oh, like that. He said, where's your mama? Dad, I think she's around here somewhere. I saw her earlier. I'm sorry. I was looking down. The camera went across the world. But yeah, she said, okay, everybody, um, look, Ken is always going to be the life of the party. Let's go up and dance with our dad. Here, let's come up. Can we join? Let's go ahead and join. Let's come up here and dance. Because our dad is the life of the party. Now, when I tell y'all, this baby shower is crack a lack. Look at our little sister, Josie Bean. Let's go ahead and deep compliment. Let's fire her up because she always playing tricks on people go in that pool and I expected nothing else less so I guess it's a baby shop or slash pool party then huh I guess so okay period oh she came to sit next to her bro all right we got that part of our aspiration complete so what's next 
So we gotta have seventy earn seventy five thousand dollars and have thirty five hundred in reserve. Okay, well we got a way to go. We can definitely do it. She's like, how's school going? He's like, I got this girl I really really like, and he said, well if you feeling her, bro, I think you should talk to her, get to know her. Oh, let's say say. Oh, this cold mom standing right here behind us. Where's your manners? Come up here and say, give Miss Joanna a hug. Stop me from dancing. Man, Brielle was getting it. Hey, hey, hey. Ew, she got a migraine, babe. You probably had too much sugar. All right, go talk to Miss Joanna. There's people over here. He's talking to his dad and this Hyatt. Y'all know this is Ken's best friend right here. He still look good. In the bathroom? Dang. All right, Brio, you gotta come up here and use the bathroom. So y'all look, everybody room is the same. I did come in and give Josie a cute bed because, um, get another cute bed because she needs somewhere to sleep. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and my girl is tired and exhausted. I'm gonna go ahead and end this social gathering. She's gonna go, oh, a baby blunder on the road to a bigger family. Shake it off with a gift in your household inventory. Nice. Uh, where's Cole? Cole, if you don't get out this water, I'm just in here. What happened to our egg? Somebody stole it. Oh, who stole the egg? Who stole the letters? We got thieves in this family. Well, I'm glad the party over. We got our pictures because somebody stole the letters. I don't seen it all. Do that. We have to go ahead and head home because we are extremely exhausted. I don't know which way y'all going. Y'all going in two separate directions. They so cute though. But we're gonna go ahead and head home. So I'm gonna see you guys once we get there. Okay, guys, we made it home. Um, I think the baby shower was a huge success. I mean, got showered with so much love and just so much affection that they just, you know, they just spilled love from their head to their toes. They got so many awesome gifts for baby boy, and they just can't be more happier to been born and blended with the families they have. And I just am super excited for them. We didn't get to take any pictures to put up on the wall, but we do have a few for thumbnail purposes, which is cool. We are taking a maternity shoot pictures tomorrow. So we'll have that to put up and display. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to end this episode right here. Comment down below how you felt about the new house, the baby shower. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.